Hello everyone, myself Rahul. So today we are going to solve a problem related to linked list. So the problem name is reverse nodes in K group. So it's a very easy problem related to recursion. Uh, so let's go through this problem. Here we are given a head of a linked list. We have to reverse the nodes of the list K at a time and return the modified list. Right? And K is a positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the linked list. If the number of nodes is not a multiple of k then left out nodes in the end should remain as it is all right you may not alter the values in the list nodes only nodes themselves have to be changed right so here we are given an example 1 2 3 4 and 5 as a linked list and the k value is suppose given is 2 we have to reverse this linked list to this particular form so k equal to 2 means like we have to take nodes in group of 2 so we will take first two nodes which are 1 and 2, reverse them so it becomes 2 and 1. We take the next two nodes 3 and 4 and reverses them so it becomes 4 and 3. So the next pointer of 4 has to be attached to 4. Right and uh, the last node 5 uh, need not be reversed because it, uh, the subgroup uh, is of not of size 2. Right so finally we have to return final this linked list 2, 1, 4, 3 and 5. Similarly, one more example over here is given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the k value is suppose 3. So we will take first 3 nodes and will reverse them to 3, 2 and 1 and the next 2 nodes 4 and 5. Right? So this uh, part of the linked list only has the size of 2 so we don't need to reverse them. So we will keep them as it is as 4 and 5. So let us take one more example through which we can better understand this problem. So I will write uh, an example over here let's call the linked list as 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 and let's suppose 7 and 8 as well right so this is a linked list of size 8 and suppose the k value is given as 3 so what is the final output we have to give so what we are going to do over here is we will take the first uh, three nodes we will reverse them to 3 2 1 then we will take the next three nodes which will be uh, and reverse them 6, 5 and 4. We will take the next, next nodes but uh, actually 7 and 8 has only of size 2 but we need only need to consider only those groups which have size of k. So 7 and 8 need not be reversed so we will keep them as it is and finally we are going to attach the next pointers of these linked lists. So the next pointer of 4 would be pointing to 7 and the next pointer of 1 would be pointing to 6. And finally we have to return this particular linked list all right so how are we going to do this so it's a simple recursion problem so uh, how we re uh, reverse a given particular linked list so suppose we are uh, given a linked list 1 2 and 3 right so how do we do that re uh, reversal for this particular linked list so if you haven't uh, you know if you aren't aware of this algorithm like how do we reverse an existing linked list so i would suggest you to uh, write an algorithm for that first and come back to this particular problem right so how do we write uh, reverse this particular linked list so it's a basic set of predefined steps so we will min maintaining three pointers over here previous current and uh, one let's call it the third one is nxt right so previous would be initialized to null the current would be initialized to over here and the next would be initialized as the next pointer of the current which is 2 so current initialized to 1 and the next has been initialized to 2 right so now uh, i need to reverse the uh, these particular links right so what i am going to do is uh, I'm going to let's suppose the length of the linked list is uh, 3 which is 3 in this case so I'm going to write one while loop right and in this I'm going to check till the point this k value doesn't become 0 I have to continue my reversal uh, process so what I'm, I can do over here is so we can assume the previous pointer is over here which is nothing but null current is over here next is nxt is over here so I can uh, I need to change first this pointer so once next pointer is pointing to 2 right so I need to change this so next pointer of 2 1 would not be pointing to 2 it has to point to this 
right so what i can do is current next pointer can point to previous so this node has been removed after that i need to move all of these three pointers one ahead so i can uh, mark previous as current so pre and current can move to nxt and i need to update the next pointer as well nxt uh, variable as well so i can check if nxt is not equal to null then in that case i am going to uh, make nxt as nxt's next we don't have to confuse nxt with next right so we'll keep on doing this so after the first iteration of this while, while loop how the linked list is going to look like so this is pointing to null instead of two we have two over here we have three over here right and the current would be over here n would be over here right and uh, now i have to reverse this link as well and my previous would be over this one so the next pointer of 2 has to change from 2 to 3 to 2 to 1 right so this step would be executed so in current next instead of this node it will be pointing to this now this step would be executed after that previous is equal initial change to current so previous instead of here would come over here current would change from here to here and uh, my next variable would move over here right so my linked list would look like uh, 2 and 3 right so it has been reversed so in this problem we have to do this recursion uh, this reversal step a uh, number of times based on like what is the length of the linked list so suppose the length of the linked list over here is 8 which is 8 in this case and k value is 3 right so how many times i have to do the reversal only two times right i don't have to reverse this part of the linked list so how can we calculate like we have to do only this two times so what i can do is i can divide 8 by 3 which will come out to be 2.6 something and i can take the floor value of that which is 2 right so i have to do the reversal step two number of times so what i need to do over here is like suppose i start from the linked list uh, just a second so this is the linked list 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so suppose i reverse this linked list and the linked list becomes something like this 1 2 and 3 right which is nothing but 3 2 and 1 right based on the uh, next pointers after that in the recursion uh, when my while loop has been completed i can pass off pass my recursion to this particular uh, linked list this part of the linked list so in this part i will be reversing 6 5 and 4 right so until then i have these uh, sub parts of linked list with me and after that when i encounter 7 and 8 i see that uh, my variable which is 2 8 divided by 3 which has come out to be 2 so i will be decrementing that count basically like initially the variable suppose the count variable was 2 initially when i reversed this part of the linked list my count variable was moved from 2 to 1 when i reverse this linked list my variable changed from 1 to 0 and when i come to this part of the linked list i check whether my count variable is 0 or not if it is 0 i don't need to reverse this linked list so i will keep that linked list as it is 7 to 8 now i need to attach the next pointer of 4 to 7 and the next pointer of 1 to 6 right so how i'm going to do that so i have already written the code for that so i will tell you like how it is uh, behaving let me just uh, quickly open that so this is the function we have to complete reverse k group and here we are given the head and the k value firstly i have found out the length of the linked list whatever that is so suppose that is 8 and the k value is initially suppose as 3 so the count value would come out to be uh, 8 divided by 3 which is nothing but 2.6 something but it will be type casted to it so it will be 2 only over here right so after that i am passing that count value and the k value and the head into a new function which i have created in this in this new function i am not doing anything special just like i have mentioned that i am reversing sub parts of the linked list so here i am initializing few variables such as previous which is initialized to null 
the next next which is initialized to current next which is nothing but this one right and my x value so why i have created this variable x which is initialized to current i will tell you so suppose uh, i have reversed this part of the linked list 1 2 3 2 and 1 right so while re before reversing i will initialize one variable which is initialized to this particular node 1 so after this reversal has been done 3 2 1 i need to attach this one this one to this 6 right so somehow i need to maintain this variable this nodes value in some pointer so that's why i am maintaining that point uh, nodes value in the x variable so that when this list or this uh, linked list has been uh, reversed i can attach the next pointer of this x next has to be 6 right so that's why i am creating one variable called x over here right and i'm here i'm reversing this sub part of the linked list and after the sub part of the linked list has been reversed i'm recursively calling for the remaining part of the linked list and decrementing the count by one right so after suppose the sub part of the linked list has also been reversed i need to attach the next pointer of my x right so x was here x was here suppose and this part of the linked list is also reversed and uh, this links linked list or this recursion call would be returning 6 to me so whatever the value ret is returned by this recursion call which would be 6 in this case i would be attaching my next pointer of x to that particular value so uh, x next would be nothing but the value returned by the recursive function and finally i am returning the previous variable so as you can see uh, when I am re uh, reversing the linked list, right? So my previous value would be nothing but this 3. So as you can see over here, 1, 2, and 3. So when I was updating it, so my previous value would come out to be over here, current would be moving over here, and next would remain as it is. So 3 would be my previous value. The previous pointer would be pointing to this 3. So I need to return this 3. Right? So I am returning this 3 over here. So it's, it's nothing but a simple recursion calls like we are uh, recursively calling or recursively uh, reversing the sub parts of the linked list and whatever the sub parts we have calculated we have to attach the next pointer of one sub part with the another sub part. So that's what is being done over in this step. So I will run this code let's see it's already tested but let's uh, run it again. Yeah, I will submit this. Yeah, so the memory usage and the runtime are also looking fine over here. So I guess like this was a, I would say rather easy problem related to linked list and recursion. So here we uh, did not just reverse a simply a linked list. Here we also had to reverse the linked list and while re after reversing we have to attach the next pointers of the last node that we have created right so i would suggest you to you know, go through this problem and try to implement this yourself before jumping onto the solution and i will see you next time with another problem thank you guys